Scott, good afternoon. It's been a really positive start to the championship campaign for Bournemouth, the top of the table, but right now that feels totally insignificant off the back of the news with regards to David Brooks mm -hmm. and his cancer diagnosis uh, yesterday. Could you just bring us up to speed as to how David is, firstly, and most importantly? Well, I think, firstly, I think you're right. Look, it's been, um, it's been a very tough week for, firstly, for David and his family. It's been a devastating news in, in terms of um, his diagnosis um, and where, he current, where, where his health is currently sitting. Um, for the football club, for his teammates, for every member of staff and his fans, um, I probably echo them words as well. It's been very, very difficult for us. So, um, currently now, the the main focus for for all of us um, being around him is putting in support mechanisms, showing him the strength and the support that he's going to need um, during these during these months coming up. Really, so um, he's he, he's a liked and loved member uh, of the team. Um, and speaking to his teammates. I see that very, very clearly. I've I've been here for 16 weeks, and um, of course I've built up a. I've got to know David, but none other than some of these boys who have been with him for many, many years. And um, there's um, there's real hurt, and there's real. Also, what's what's jumping out at me is is is, is a group of people um, like all of us that want to support him and help him through this um, next stage of his uh, of his life, really. So. Yeah, um, currently at this present moment in time, he he goes and he'll go and start his treatment next week. Um, and like I said, from the hierarchy of this football club, putting things in place, support mechanisms for David and his family, that will be that that that's going to constantly be happening. Um, from his teammates, um, showing a, the 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 support what he's going to need, and then from the fans and and and, and what we're about, if, if we'll unite together around David um, and give him the strength, like I said, along with his own strength. This is a strong boy. Um, and yeah, I have no doubt he'll be back out there with us, amongst us, um, doing what he does best and what he loves doing. Clearly it's been an emotional time, a very challenging time. From the, the early symptoms to the diagnosis, it seems to have been quite quick, which is massively important when it comes to, to cancer. Mm. Could you tell us a little bit about what was wrong with David? Was he ill? Was he was he suffering fatigue? Um, well, I can't really go probably into into real detail. I, you know, that's confidentiality on, on on David's part in that sense. And if David wants to explain that to to, to everyone, I'm sure that will be the case. Um, for the bigger picture, of course, there's there's symptoms and there's signs of. Of which you, you, you can look up and you'll you'll understand of, of of what this disease what this disease is really, um, but yeah I, I think look it'll be wrong of me I, I wouldn't want to do that um, like I said I think my main consistent message here is one of uh, one focus now and that's making sure that we're um, we're right behind him and you see that if there's one great thing about the world we live in in football you we 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 can unite um, no matter what colours you wear. No matter what team you support, if you like someone or you don't like someone because they play for an opposite team, there's one thing that football often can do is unite people and David's feeling that and, and he's going to need to feel that through for this next period. That's been very clear from looking through social media over the course of the last 24 hours. The, the support that he has had from the football family mm. has been quite staggering mm. uh, and even some like Sol Bamba who's been through something yeah. very similar. I'm sure he's had a, a lot of players and managers and and other people connected in the game reach out to him and, and yeah. that's going to be so important on this next phase of his journey. Definitely, that, one, one, 100% that's going to be vitally important and um, look the, the prognosis, the, where, where, it, where it sits and, and the general feeling uh, around it is one of very very uh, being very positive. I, I, I say that of obviously understanding the dynamics of what, what David's currently going through but um, David knows where he is. He knows the the, the fight he has in front of him, um, but he, I have no doubt whatsoever he comes out of this. Um, and like I said, he'll be in a place where we're, we're we're once again watching him on this field. He's monk, once again amongst his teammates, and he's that bright um, life of, of the party guy. Um, and we also see his quality, which we've we've come used to seeing as well. You've touched upon it there. He's a, a very much loved member of of this squad, and has been since his arrival. A few years ago, how are the, the rest of the team coping with this news? How much 
extra work will there be for you and your management team to look after everyone, particularly with the mental side of things? Yeah, there's, um, there's that element, of course, because, like I said, this is not someone who's just, um, for, for some of these guys and probably a large half of this group, they've been with David for some time and this has hit them, like is it all of us, very, very, very hard. So, um, of course, that's, um, that's down to myself and, um, and my staff in, in terms of understanding um, the different dynamics of what we've got in the squad, really. So, and like I said, look, I've sat down with a large part of the group um, and I, I see a group of men, really, that, that, are, that are not downbeat, to be quite honest with you, are looking for, OK, what can we do? What do we need to do? We're, we're, you know, what, what sort of things do we need to put in place? Um, how can we help? Um, and that's exactly what, what I would expect, really. So um, that's where we are. Does it almost feel like this, this, this terrible negative that has happened to David has, has galvanised the team and given them that little bit of extra to, to pull together for him, to, to win games for him, and to make sure he feels a part of this squad whilst he can't impact things on the pitch, he's still very much at the heart of the dressing room? Yeah, maybe, maybe that's the case. Look, this 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 news is um, is news that comes, and you you, you realise sometimes that in life there's a bit more to what we live in, and the the hustle and bustle of what we live in. A three points here, a bad performance is 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 everything. It probably just it brings you down a little bit in terms of understanding. There's a there's a lot more to it, um, and 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 yeah, this is where exactly we are. Um, look, I have no doubt it's this group of players here. Um, I'm not sure galvanised is the right word and they need to be galvanised but this group will be doing all they can to make sure that Brooks is looking on at us whether we're playing, whether it's a Tuesday and, 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 and we're around him or, or whatever that may be um, that we're, you know he, he feels right part of what, what this great club will be and he feels that support to, to, to make sure that he feels part of everything we're doing um, even though he's, he's not going to be directly with us. Well, everyone at Sky Sports is wishing David and the rest of the team all the best in this uh, the journey that they're about to embark upon. It feels almost insignificant to talk about football now off the back of, of, of those words, but focus will, will go for the team to Bristol City away. How big a challenge will that be, particularly when they haven't won at home in the Championship yeah. so far this season? Yeah, I think you're right. I think there, there is a big challenge there because of that, what, you, what you've just said there, Mark, in, in terms of you know their home form is, has been a little bit shaky a good side uh, and they, you've seen that on the road you've seen that in, in their home performances as well in some of their home performances got some good players um, another championship game that you just don't know and um, can cause you problems um, I also suspect we can go there and cause them some problems if we, we bring our game um, like I, I've said we've worked tirelessly in this international uh, break I think we've got a balance of of working hard but then also recharging and freshening things up a little bit um, yeah, and hopefully we can we can start off where we left off um, before the international break and that's, you know, keep on that track of, of, of winning and winning games and, and gaining points really. The players that have returned from international duty, are they all uh, okay? No, no knocks or injuries? What's the team news ahead of the game? Yeah, at the moment no knocks. Um, obviously we're still waiting on Jefferson Lerma he comes, I think he plays tonight, so he, he's going to be a late one. Um, everyone else at this moment in time is is fit and well. So, um, of course, the ones that have come back a little bit late, some arrived back this morning. Um, we'll check over them a bit closer, probably tomorrow, and then we'll, we'll go from there.